Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's find the center of mass of a semicircular wire. It's a very thin wire that runs as a semicircle right here. We want to find the center mass, the x and y coordinates. Now for a semicircular wire, the x coordinate, that's easy, that has to be zero because there's perfect symmetry on both sides of the y axis. But for the y coordinate, we do have to use some integration techniques here. What we're going to do is as follows. We're going to write that the y coordinate of the center mass is equal to the integral of the center of mass of a small little segment. To so take a small little segment and find the center mass of that, that would be what we call the y with a little squiggly on it. That means the center of mass of that small little segment right here times the, now we don't have an area here, we have a length. We're going to let dl represent the mass of that small little segment. Now you say, well, wait a minute, how can I let a length represent mass? But again, if this is of uniform density and uniform thickness, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the mass and the length of that particular wire. And it's easier to work with the length, so we'll call it a DL. And then we're going to divide that by the integral of DL. And we're going to now integrate from where to where? Well, from one side all the way to the other side. Or what I can do is I can just go from one side to the halfway point, realizing that there's perfect symmetry. Now, what is the y position of that particular little segment right here? That's a small little dl. And so if we draw a line from there to there, then we make an angle. We call that angle theta. And then if we draw a line to both sides, actually what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line like this and we're going to draw a line like this and call this little line here d theta, that's a d theta. Then dl can be written as, if this is the radius of the wire, that can be written as r times d theta. So that's the dl and the position of the center of mass of that little piece right here, if we draw a line straight down, and then we want to know what this height is equal to. That would be the y coordinate. That would be the y tilde, as we call it. The y with a little squiggly on it. That would be equal to the radius times the sine of the angle because it's the opposite side to the angle. That can now be written as r times the sine of theta. That would be this height right here. That would be the center mass of the little segment. Multiply times dl, and dl is r times d theta. And then we have integrate over that. We're going to integrate from 0 to, let's say, pi divided by 2. We're just going to go halfway because there's perfect symmetry on both sides. We divide that by the integral of dl, which is r times d theta. We're going to integrate from 0 to pi over 2, from 0 to pi over 2. Notice that r is a constant that can come out. We have one r in the numerator, one r in the denominator that cancels out. So the y bar, the y coordinate of the center mass is equal to the r times the integral of sine of theta d theta going from 0 to pi divided by 2, divide the whole thing by d theta, the integral of d theta from 0 to pi over 2. Plug in, let's see here. Well, I think we're ready now to integrate. Let's integrate to see what we get. This is equal to r times the integral of the sine is the negative cosine of theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2 divide the whole thing by theta evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. In the denominator when we plug in the lower limit we get 0 so we don't have to worry about that we just plug in the upper limit but here we do have to plug in both limits let's see what we get y bar equals r times plug in the upper limit we get minus the cosine of pi divided by 2 minus a minus, because we have to subtract, we're plugging the lower limit, the cosine of 0. And take the whole thing divided by pi divided by 2. The cosine of pi divided by 2, well, that's equal to 0. That cancels out, so that's equal to 0. And we get y bar is equal to r times, minus times the minus is plus, the cosine of, oh, that would be pi, that would be 0, isn't it? I forgot to write in 0 for the angle. We're plugging the lower limit. The cosine of 0 is 1. Minus times the minus is plus. That would be 1 divided by pi divided by 2. And finally, we can say that y bar 
which means the y coordinate of the center mass is equal to 2 times r divided by pi. And that is the y coordinate of the center mass, which means we can write this x and y. The x and y coordinate of center mass is equal to, for the x direction, it has to be 0. For the y direction, it will be 2r divided by pi. And that's how that's done.